Okay, in this one we're going to talk about the properties of R22. Long time air conditioning refrigerant. Uh, one of those that was developed in the 30s and has been used in air conditioning for a very long time. I don't know how long, but you know, very long time. Uh, excellent refrigerant for air conditioning. Well, it, it's a solvent, so it actually mixes with mineral oil. This is the oils we were using in uh, compressors for many years. Uh, mixed well with it so that uh, the oil would move with the refrigerant if it needed to through the system. Uh, very efficient refrigerant. Pumping efficiency was very good. Its pressures, if you're comparing it to R12, the pressures are higher. Uh, 70 degrees, the saturated uh, pressure would be about 120. And so it was a higher pressure refrigerant than R12 was. Now R12 was used in air conditioning not as much as 22. 22 was pretty much the go-to for that. Now, when we started getting concerned with refrigerants in the environment, and another video I talked about what ozone depletion potential was, this is where we stopped using things like R12. R22 was still okay to use. Later on, and I think it was around 2004, they stopped, uh, they started phasing out R22. Now, R22 was, you know, there's a lot of it out there. R12 was probably the most popular, but R22 was pretty close second. Used in virtually every kind of air conditioning out there. Well, uh, now it had an ozone depletion potential of 0.05. R12 had an ODP of 1. It was kind of the basis everything went off of. So, the ozone depletion potential of 22 is very low. It's called, it's not a CFC like R12 is, it's an HCFC. Halogenated chlorofluorocarbon. So, it did have a potential for damaging the ozone layer, but it was not near what R12 was. So, we continued using it up until about 2004. Now we've started phasing it out. We've replaced it with other refrigerants like R410A and uh, there's some others. There are a number of other refrigerants that have uh, been slated for replacement of it. Uh, I think the end result is simply the equipment as it wears out, we're going to change it and it'll probably be R410A. We change it too. But, there are some replacement refrigerants for R22. They all have various problems with usage. I'll talk to those in another video. But, R22 is being phased out, uh, partly because of ozone depletion potential, and there are some other problems that I'll get into in other videos. So, R22, bye. It's gone. Leaving. Not out the door, but close.